Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, March 19th, and it is the very first day of spring. I hope you're getting outside and finding some fun things, looking for little new plants that are coming up. Um, I wanted to share a little book that I found at my home um, on my, my kids' bookshelf. Um, the pages are a little bit big, so the um, video might be a little bit wiggly when I try to show you the pictures, so just bear with me. This one's called The Little Island, written by Golden McDonald and Leonard Weisgard. So remember when we were at school and we talked about an island? It's a piece of land that's surrounded by water. So let's find out about this little island. The Little Island. There was a little island in the ocean. Around it the winds blew and the birds flew and the tides rose and fell on the shore. Clouds passed over it, fishes swam around it, and the fog came in from the sea and hid the little island in the soft, wet shadow. The morning was very quiet on the island. The with only the spiders sailing their webs against a gentle wind. Small flowers, white and blue, and violets with golden eyes, and little waxy white-pink chuckleberry blossoms, and one tickly-smelling pear tree bloomed on the island, and that was the spring. Then one day, all the lobsters crawled in from the sea and hid under the rocks and the ledges of the island to shed their shells and show their new, and let their new ones grow hard and strong in hiding places in the dark. And the seals came barking down from the north to lie on the sunny rocks and raise their seal babies. And the kingfishers came from the south to build nests. And the gulls, <clears throat> excuse me, and the gulls laid their eggs on the rocky ledges. And the wild strawberries turned red. Summer had come to the little island. Boats sailed to the little island from far away and herring and mackerel leaped out of the water, all silver in the moonlight. The seaweed squeaked at low tide, and little green pears grew on the pear tree. A black crow flew over. <clears throat> and a little kitten came to the island with some people in a picnic. On a picnic. <laughs> Let's start that page over. A little kitten came to the island with some people on a picnic. The kitten prowled around the island and saw that it was all surrounded by water. What a little island, said the kitten. This little island is as little as big is big. <clears throat> so are you, said the island. Maybe I am a little island too, said the kitten. A little fur island in the air, and he left the ground and jumped in the air. That is just what you are, said the little island. But I am part of this big world, said the little kitten. My feet are on it. So am I, said the little island. No, you're not, said the kitten. Water is all around you and cuts you off from the land. Ask any fish, said the island. So the kitten caught a fish. Answer me this or I'll eat you up, said the kitten. How is an island a part of the land? Come with me, said the fish, down into the dark secret places of the sea, and I will show you. Oh, I can't swim, said the cat. Show me another way, or I'll eat you up. Then you must take it on faith, what I tell you, said the fish. What's that, said the cat? Faith, to believe what I tell you about what you don't know, said the fish. And the fish told the kitten how all land is one land under the sea. 
and the cat's eyes were shining with the secret of it and he became and because he loved secrets he believed and he let the fish go and he got on his boat and sailed away into the setting sun the little island had a little woods on it with seven big trees in it and 17 small bushes and one big rock. Birds came to the woods on the island and butterflies and moths flew over the ocean till they got there. Night came to the little island, dark and still, and seven little fireflies flashed in the darkness. A bat flew around and around the pear tree and woke up the owl and the wind whistled. Then came the storm. The wind blew from the south, east. Waves as big as glassy mountains came before it. Lights and lightning and thunder, and always the howling, moaning, whistling wind. And then the storm passed and left the little island where it found it in the summer sea. Autumn came, and the pear dropped slowly to the ground. Winter came, and the snow fell softly, like a great, quiet secret in the night, cold and still. Nights and days came and passed, and summer and winter, and the sun and the wind and the rain, and it was good to be a little island, a part of the world, and a world of its own, all surrounded by the bright blue sea. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book.